Hello. Today is Sunday, 23 April 2023, as of filming this in the city of Shoreline, King County, Washington State, United States of America, Planet United States of America, Planet Earth, the original. I slow it down. And this is my health and wellness check-in for the week. Uh, overall, it was a pretty standard slash normal week. Right, so that that's the intro. I'm also gonna do a quick note of. I might be so I've been doing this is a filming and publishing posting same day per my time zone, and um, so same day for me. It might not be same day depending on where you are in the world, kind of thing. Um, if you're in a time zone different than me, that is, and. Uh, Yes. What was that? Oh, I was gonna, I have, after I published this video today, I might publish a couple of throwback videos, like videos from 2019. <laughs> Aboard what is called a nostalgia train. So a nostalgia train is like a train that was used in like the 18 or 1900s. And I went on a ride in 2000. I actually went on multiple rides on, it's called the Skunk Train, based out of Willits, California. I was living in California at the time. And it was one of the fun things I did. Uh, so I went on, uh, I used to take Thursdays off at work. And, um, like, kind of treat it as a weekend day and then do work on Saturday or Sunday. Um, because I found Saturdays and Sundays could be good times to work, kind of. Um, and so I had a Thursday and I, I went... So it was kind of like my day off during the week. Uh, I took a weekday off. Cause, yeah. And uh, I went out to the skunk chain and it was really fun. And so both videos are from that ride. However, I did go on it again because what I did is I you could buy a ticket and go on a ride. And was the ride is like an hour and a half to two hours long. And there'd be, there was like concessions on the train and like it moved pretty slow. It was an old fashioned train and they talked about the redwood trees and you know a tree that's a thousand year old years old you know that kind of stuff um and they had like a stop out of the little area picnic area that we could get off the train and eat and so I like I bought concessions and ate and I took Hedgie the Hedgehog with me um I'm not going to publish a video I do have a video of Hedgie the Hedgehog but I'm not going to publish that one now I have a, a bunch of li short little videos from it um this first ride that was on 8 August 2019, so it was Thursday, and so I'm going to publish um, two videos, is my goal for this evening after this one. And um, I guess this is part of my week summary in that this, this kind of like little random just what do I have that I could post on this channel um, and something that's like a nugget of gold because I found this thing and then what this all builds up to is I bought for my parents anniversary they came down and visited me on my birthday that year 2019 and their anniversary in their anniversaries th or m on my celebration of my birthday so like and then three days before that is their anniversary and so I bought three tickets and my dad my mom and I went on this skunk train together <laughs> after I'd gone on it this first time, which the videos I'm going to publish are from. Um, so I've, I've, been, I've been on the skunk train multiple times, but the, the videos are from the first time on the skunk train, which was eight, Thursday, 8 August 2019. Let me do, can I check that? Yep. All right. So that was my introduction and week summary is, don't forget little nuggets of goodness like that. Okay. Or is that a note to self? But it's a it's a pick me up on my YouTubing because these help. The, I'm doing these same day film and publish same day and it's, a, it's I haven't done a publishing a video from a while ago in a while so I'm gonna try not four years ago less than four years ago but over three years ago um, videos are from so that was the introduction week summary it it was a normal week uh, I'll I'll reiterate that before I jump into it social. I fed the critters every meal, all of their meals this week. Do I anticipate any changes in that in the future? Yes. Uh, 3 to 6 May 2023. So pretty soon. Uh, you know, uh, less than two weeks I'll, and I'll be back kind of thing. <laughs> um, I'm visiting my grandma Connie in Oak Harbor. Um, so 
I, some of those meals will get my, I've asked my mom to feed the critters and she has agreed to do so and they'll be happy to see their granny. Um, like I'll be going to see my grammy, granny and they'll get to see their granny. Um, so that's a week where this might not, well this won't kind of happen. Okay, and then so that's kind of baseline interaction I live with my parents. So I'm interacting with my mom and my dad every day, multiple times, all throughout the day. From I wake up and my dad's already up or my mom's already up or Kona's already up. Or I guess there's mom, dad, and Kona. So yeah. Uh, so social interactions in the house as well is I fed the critters their meal every day this week. Other outings with social interactions included Richmond Beach Library, a public library on Tuesday, 18 April. And then QFC. Quality Food Center, the Edmonds location, which is a grocery store, and that was also Tuesday, 18 April. And then the last one for the week was Cromwell Park, which is a public, like, city of shoreline public park. And um, that was Thursday, 20 April. And that was mostly, <laughs> that was mostly, uh, did I go get, turn in my application for a new passport? <gasps> uh, <laughs> Kind of, yeah, uh, it was mostly social interactions with the critters. Do I gotta go and pick it up? <gasps> the passport? <gasps> no. Okay. Um, point being, mostly critter interactions. Like, I, I would actually, I actually talked to the animals and was like, I got out my nice camera and took like pictures of a robin and stuff. So, yeah. Species. Social interactions. So that's social. Mental. Uh, it was about normal, though the <laughs> these theme day of the video of the week videos are turning out to be more t mentally taxing than I thought they would. They are. It's kind of like I just I I have like templates for each theme, so I don't have to come up with, or I, I do, but like um, when I start on like the annotating off of YouTube for publishing the videos, I have a template to start from. And I kind of don't really necessarily think about the videos in advance. Like if I do, it might be like a week in advance or it might be like, it's mostly like me thinking of what could I do at this point. I, I haven't reached a stability like kind of cruise control or autopilot by any means with these videos. So they're a little bit mentally taxing because I'm still adjusting to them. Um, yes. And then for writing, so my writing and publishing on Wikipedia, I've still been doing that every day. Uh, when I go visit my grandma, I get some a couple days off. Oh, exciting! And uh, for writing, uh, I was tackling a more diverse set of overlapping competitions with results in a, vi a variety of languages. So I guess it's best by swimming, swimming competitions with a variety of languages. Um, I did a good job moderating and not stretching myself too thin. I like when I would think about oh should I write this person at this competition should I write something I'd be like no and if I do wait until the competition's over um so I'm, or if I do only put one thing on their page like just put the record on the page um that kind of thing so and what I mean is like so there was the Italian National Swimming Championships there was the Hungarian National Swimming Championships there was the Russian National Swimming Championships, the Belgian National Swimming Championships. And so that, those languages were Italian, Hungarian, Russian, Dutch. But the Dutch one also came in English, but it was the only one to come in two languages. So I'm like, I don't Italian, I've gotten used to. Hungarian, I'm finding I actually quite enjoy. Um, and Russian was just like, I think, I'm like, it kind of felt like my brain was going to melt. Um, it was um like <laughs> it was like first exposure, and I was just kind of like, um and just don't burn out. You can make it, but it was like I just made a lot of mistakes that I made back when I started writing and publishing on Wikipedia. So it was like out of my comfort zone a lot, um and that came through in kind of the type of mistakes I made and the number of mistakes. I made. So I did a good job on being like, whoa, I'm making a lot of mistakes. Don't take on anymore. Um, so I did a good job. But it was a little, the, it was, uh, my brain got pushed this week. And I didn't burn out and I didn't crash. So I, I would consider that a good week. Uh, and that's kind of about normal, actually, across the board. Like if I look at everything I do, that's kind of been a common theme for the past few years of my life. I, my brain has kind of like been slowly expanding in a good way. 
um, I haven't chosen to do stuff that I'm like super familiar with. So it's it's been a multi-year growth process. And then up last, physical diet, food, and exercise. This is like one word, normal. <laughs> There's a, I, I um, got all, so I, normal meaning I hit all of my exercise. I, I got all of my exercise sessions done, including the session for today, Sunday. Um, and my e food was uh, even across the week. So like I did have like splurges, like I'm not on a, I wasn't on a diet, um, but I was like trying to maintain maintenance, attain maintenance, right? So there was like, I did this sweet and savory eats with like the pint of gelato and potato wedges and stuff. But uh, then I also balanced that out with days with lower caloric intake. Um, so it was normal in that sense, like pretty even, uh, evened out. And then the exercise was full exercise. So normal. So that's this week. Uh, pretty normal, uh, though the, the languages thing, uh, I might put an emphasis on here on a variety of languages in reading those references. Um, yeah, <laughs> it was like, I literally printed out the Russian alphabet and its transliteration to English and was like, for each of my people, I was like, how do I spell their name? in Russian because the results were in Russian and could not be translated to English. So it was, my little brain was just, um, but that's my conclusion. It was a pretty good week and I have that nugget of goldness with nostalgia train videos, skunk train videos too, after I publish this one tonight. Love you guys. <laughs> oh, happy Sunday. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's my awesome wellness check-in. Happy evening. At least that's what's filming this.